Megan Bain, 26 years old. She is our HOG Women's Champion. 65 days and counting right now as HOG Women's Champion. Jason, there's been six HOG Women's Champions in company history. You're looking at the seventh. It wasn't an easy road to get that championship to begin with. And she had to go through not only Ultraviolet, but her apprentice. Diamond Virago. Diamond Virago. Hey, look, you know, 671 days, Violet held on to that championship, and Megan Bain was finally able to end that very impressive streak. Calls herself the goddess of glory. Just beat Matt Cardona last weekend in GCW. So man or woman, it doesn't matter. No one is safe from the Pegasus. And all the cool kids on social media talk about aura. She's got him in spades. Look, I mean, you and me were in Chicago at the beginning of this month. Very good match against Kylie Ray, also making her HOG debut that night. And now looking to notch another win. Now, this is very interesting because you see the size lead across six feet tall. So, size-wise, maybe a little bit of an edge for the challenger tonight. The two women lock up now. Center of the ring. Those who don't know a whole lot about Lena Cross started watching wrestling as a child, thought that it was an impossible dream until she saw Tennille Dashwood or Emma from WWE, another Australian native, make her way over to the United States wrestling on TV. That's what opened her eyes to the fact that one day she could do that very same thing. A waist lock go behind there by Lena. After reversal, after reversal, after reversal. Look at this. Neither woman could get the advantage on the other. As Lena Cross now tries for that side headlock, successful in doing so, and she takes down the champion and Mega Bank quickly with the head scissors and we're back up. Another headlock takeover. Wow, and there's that size advantage Jay, she mentioned it just a moment ago. It does look like Lena does have the size advantage on Megan Bain, as we are at a stalemate here. They're getting very different dynamic from what we had in the match earlier this month with Kylie Ray, who was the smaller of the two. Not the case here tonight. Bain off the ropes and nothing there on that shoulder attack. Well, but again, like we said, you know, Megan Bain, she's been in the ring with men, women, it doesn't matter. So she's been in the ring with people bigger than her. stalemate here between these two ladies. What a sight as both women are. Who's going to blink first? By testing one another in that middle of the ring. Alina Schultz, Megan Bain back. A few feet there. Challenger finally gets the advantage over the champion. Marsh whip now into the corner. Megan Bain explodes out of the corner with a shoulder tackle of her own. And right into the midsection with those shoulder tackles. Standard splash by Megan Bain. Double under arm suplex. I mean, look, there's a reason they call her the Megasis. She will throw you around that ring like the ropes. Big splash by the champ. Hooks the leg. And Cross kicks out as she very wisely rolls us to the outside. And it's very interesting, you know, I've been in the locker room before some of her matches that she's had here. She is laser focused. I mean, she's off in the corner. She's just staring straight ahead. She's all business. A kick. Didn't Charles work. blocks that now. Electric chair. Ooh. 
chest first right across the ring apron. And that's exactly what Cross needed here. If she hopes to win that women's championship. Lena Cross has wrestled in Japan, notably for the Sendai Girls Pro Wrestling. She made her debut and teamed with Aja Khan. So spent significant time in Japan. As she continues to just ram Megan Baines back right into the ring apron. Lena Cross made her debut in the UK for Progress Wrestling.
shots. Cross. What a knee lift. Hooks the leg. Wow. She thought that was it. And Megan Bain got that left shoulder up. This is the level of competition that you're going to continue to get in the women's division every single month here at House of Glory. Women from all over the globe want a piece at that title. That F5. That's beautiful right there. You've seen her use that before. Perfectly executed. And Lena Cross is still somehow alive in the championship know. match. I don't know how, but Lena Cross just keeps finding ways. At some point, you'll run out of gas. Megan Bain tried for that suplex from the outside in, but Lena had other things on her mind.
Kobe may be taking it to the air. Uh, Lena's right there to cut her off. Lena Cross going to follow her up to the top. And Megan Bain trying to fight her way out of this predicament. And Lena says, I don't think so. Could be a superplex. Exactly what it is. Unbelievable move. Well, that took just as much out of Lena as it did Megan. She could just drape her arm over. She, I think she got hurt on that just as much as Megan did. She did. Both women are down. I don't know how effective that was for Lena Cross. As she's just now trying to slowly crawl over to the champion to maybe make the cover. Megan Ben's rolling away. Both women have given it their all. This has been a war for the HOG a Women's war, Championship. A war of attrition between these two. Look at this. Look After all that. that we've seen, look at this. This is like, bring it on. Give me the best you got.
commissioner has gone to attend to some HOG business. I'm now joined by Sam Laterna. Sam, I don't know if you've seen a championship match in this building like that one tonight, but my God, Linda Cross made a name for herself with this crowd. Oh, she certainly did. I was not all that familiar with her work, uh, but seeing her in here, it was evident that she wanted that HOG women's title, but tonight, Pegasus wanted to retain more than Cross wanted to win, I think. The only match that I would say could rival this in the history of Hog, Masha Slamovich yes. versus Ultraviolet. Yes. We'll have to maybe do a watch along and compare yes. and contrast. From Megan Bain, still the HOG women's champion. Who will step up next and put the champion to the test?